Hi, and welcome to GIC. Today, we're gonna to show you how to erect the deluxe 12 foot camper tent. Firstly, undo all the loop straps holding on the tent cover. Gently lift the Velcro and unzip the cover right the way around the perimeter. Then remove the cover. Remove additional tent walls and annex components from the tent and place on the ground. Unfold the PVC tent floor. Then extend the tent away from the trailer. The tent will automatically unconcertina. Remove from the pole bag three number 11 spreader poles and one number 10 spreader pole. Place the ladder inside the tent. Extend the A-frame up and install the number 10 spreader from the A-frame to the ridge pole. Extend the spreader until it's firm, then do up the wing nut. Raise the center pole up until it's firm and lock into place. Repeat this step on the other side of the tent. Adjust the angle pole up to the top of the A-frame and extend it holding firm in place and lock in both sides of the tent. Next, adjust the angular poles both sides that extend towards the rear of the tent. Adjust the spreader poles in place as shown and lock into place. Once adjusted, the roof should look like this. Take two number six poles from the pole bag and install in the back corners of the tent. Install both left and right poles. When extending the poles, be sure not to overextend. This could damage the tent. Raise the wall spreaders into place on both sides of the tent. Then place the feet of the vertical poles in the sock areas provided. Once in the sock areas, Gently raise the poles. Be sure not to overextend. This can damage the tent. Lock into place. Spread the floor of the annex out. Attach the annex floor via Velcro to the length of the tent. The simplest way to erect the annex is to place the poles in their relevant positions. The five number one poles can be placed against the tent as shown. The vertical poles are placed as such. Number two poles on the outer areas of the tent with the number eight pole at the very highest point, the number seven pole at the next highest point and the number five pole in between seven and two. The spreader poles used are number three and number four, with number four being the longest of the spreader poles available in the pole bag. Attach the number one poles into the holes in the internal poles of the tent as shown. Extend the poles so they'll sit comfortably at an angle and in place. 
Next, attach the annex roof via the zipper and Velcro as shown. If necessary, lower the internal poles of the tent to allow you to reach the zipper along the length. Fold the Velcro over to seal against water ingress. Starting at the end nearest the door, place the number one pole loop end over the number two vertical pole. Next, go to the number eight vertical pole, place the spreader pole end of number four on top of the spigot, then place the number one pole from the tent on top of that. Move to the end number two pole, place the number three spreader pole on top of the number two pole, place the number one pole on top, then place the annex roof on top of the spigot through the hole provided and lock in place with the bungee cord. Place the spigot of the number eight pole through the corresponding eyelet on the annex roof. Do the same for the number two pole at the end near the door. Adjust the number one poles and the spreader poles to get the annex roof into the correct shape. Assemble the number five pole and number seven pole to their corresponding number one poles through the eyelets in the annex roof. Take note of the position of the vertical poles as opposed to the spreader pole. Install the number six poles at the centre of each end of the annex and lock into place. Install the number 10 spreader pole as shown. Then install the number 11 spreader pole as shown. The annex roof should look like this, with no ability for water to pool on the annex roof. The deluxe 12 foot camper tent comes with a complete annex, which includes the roof, walls and floor, which simply Velcro together. So what's stopping you? Get out there and see Australia in a GIC camper.